Managers of Reddit, what is the stupidest thing an employee did that forced you to fire them? Story 1. I didn't personally fire this person, but I was manager on duty at a restaurant I work at. Newish server was dealing with a complaint a customer had with their BLT. Rather than having me talk to the table, he took a bite out of it and said, I'm not seeing the problem. Story 2. I had an employee apologize to two different tables for forgetting to put their food order in. They had been waiting like 45 minutes and nothing had been entered into the system. We looked at the camera system because he had been acting weird all day. After he wrote down their order, he proceeded to go outside and fire up a joint. He was apparently too high to remember to put the order in. It was his first and last day. Story 3 Every day at lunch, she would drink roughly half of her Jimmy John's or whatever soda, then take it with her to the bathroom to fill it back up with whiskey. She did a pretty good job of covering up the smell, and since she did it from day one, it wasn't immediately obvious that she was getting drunk. Found out on day four when she knocked her full cup over, and we all got punched with the smell of booze in the afternoon. Story 4 during my first real dev job, the company I was working for tried to implement a bunch of things to improve efficiency and employee satisfaction. Two interesting programs they implemented were work from home and agile development, along with their requisite bullpens, share team areas. What this basically meant is that we only had to show up to the office for core hours, four hours, three days a week, and the rest of the time we could work in our shared areas, restaurants, parks, homes, you name it. Sometimes, if you couldn't be at core hours, you would just dial in. We were young and excited and dedicated, so the core team really got a lot of good work done with this model. About two weeks after we started, our scrum master actually mentioned, Has anyone seen Phil? Phil was a quiet guy, and he was still answering emails and I am, so it took us a while to agree that no one had actually seen him in a long time. She called him from the speakerphone in the bullpen. And, as God is my witness, here is the call that took place boss. Hey, Phil, what's up? Phil. Hey, boss, not much. What's up with you? Boss. Hey, we were just noticing we hadn't seen you much lately. You ever coming back in for core hours? Phil. Probably not. Boss. Oh, why is that? Phil. Because I moved to Idaho. Boss. But, Phil, we're in D.C. Phil. I know. Boss. Why didn't you tell us you wanted to move to Idaho, Phil? Oh, because I knew you wouldn't let me. Story 5. I had an employee lock another employee in a closet one time. That person was trapped, called the police from inside the closet. It was quite an HR nightmare. Story 6. Not me, but my boss. Boss had to fire a lady in our office because she lost her marbles when someone ate her bagel from the fridge. She literally had a tantrum, like a toddler. Also, the girl who ate it, ate it by mistake. She thought it was a bagel from the office breakfast we had earlier that same morning. It was in the same packaging as the office stuff. Now, I absolutely hate it when people eat my lunch, but the girl who ate the bagel profusely apologized, even stated that she would go and buy her a new one right on the spot, but Tantrum Lady couldn't let it go. So, that ended up being her last night. Story 7 Forging a tip on a receipt, like adding $20 wasn't going to get caught. One day at an old job, we got a call from a customer complaining that a credit card statement didn't match her receipt. It was $5 over. We got another call later that day saying the same thing. Later on, a dude walked in to complain. Same thing. Two more people came in later. Their waiter had added $5 to each of their tips. They were all the same table. Idiot. He was fired on the spot, rightfully, and the customers got hella gift certificates. Edit. Since I seem to be inspiring logic problems here... This was a table of five people all sitting together at lunch for a work meeting. They noticed the discrepancies when the first woman's itemized receipts didn't match up to what they said they had spent, and she asked her colleagues if it was the same for them. Story 8 New guy, around 20 years old or so, called in sick saying that he thinks he had a stroke. Since he lived across the street from the store where we worked, we all then stood and watched through the store's glass door as he packed up his truck with beach gear and drove off with his girlfriend, fired the next day. Story 9 Back in my days, working at a used car dealership, we had a team come in and test drive a 1,500-mile Corvette. Today's equivalent would be the ZR1. Anyway, the kid drives it around our set loop once and is being a little waffly on if he wants to get it or not. He says it doesn't really drive as well as he thought it would. My salesman told him it was user error and he'd prove it to him. They went out for another loop around with the employee driving it. 
he managed to get pulled over to 135 miles per hour in a school zone, got arrested if I recall correctly. Needless to say, he was not welcome back at our store. However, the teen did buy the car. Story 10. Two new employees got into a physical altercation because one claimed the other wasn't HUD enough. It was two females, and this is an office job. Absolutely ridiculous. LOL, reminds me of an incident at my office. Two girls got into it during initial training because one accused the other of stealing her highlighter and being a ghetto hoe bag. Fist fight breaks out. Managers separated them and ended up suspending them without pay for three days. One never came back and the other quit a week later. Story 11. Hired a girl to work in a bagel store who, on her first day, told me she couldn't touch any of the meats because she was vegan. Had another guy show up for work his first day, was doing just fine, seemed to be good with the job. I went to the office to get some paperwork for him to fill out, and he was just gone. Never came back, didn't steal anything, no explanation at all. The bad one was, had to fire a girl for not showing up for several days in a row. Saw in a newspaper the next week that she had been in jail the whole time because she had locked her kids in a closet while she was buying coke. Story 12. Offered a job to a candidate, but had to step out of the office to grab some paperwork. Came back, and a bus pass that was on the desk was missing. Newly hired employee stole it. I asked him to return it because a previous candidate dropped it, and he said he needed it more than they did and walked out. Did you attempt to explain to him that with a job, he gets a wage that will allow him access to a variety of goods and services, bus passes included? Story 13. Managed a long-term care facility. Got a call one night from a resident telling me that the new nighttime worker there was acting weird. This was at about midnight, and the shift started at 11. I called my lead. There were three people on duty, and asked how the night was going. She told me that, yeah, Sally was sick. Hmm. I put on my shoes and headed in. Now having the administrator show up at almost 1am is never a good thing, so I'm pretty sure all three of them felt scared when I showed up. I took one look at Sally, leaning against the wall, and asked her to come to my office. I asked her if she had been drinking. I never drink at work, she slurred at me. I told her that I had to have her blow into the stoop. We had breathalyzer tubes that registered if they were over a specific level. The crystals changed from clear to dark blue if the alcohol is registered over the legal limit. No surprise, turned dark blue. I asked her again if she had been drinking. She admitted to have been drinking earlier in the evening. She and her friend had been doing shots up until about 10 p.m. But I'm not drunk. I stopped and ate almost two hours ago, so it's all out of my system. No, it doesn't work that way. Uh, sorry, Sally, but I need to let you go. Call someone to come get you. I told her as I was filling out paperwork for the breathalyzer usage and final check request. Oh, that's okay. I drove in. Nope, nope, nope. She then asked what time she should come in tomorrow. Sally, you no longer work here. Coming to work intoxicated is not tolerated. Oh, really? Yes, really. Please call someone who has not been drinking to come get you. She called about 16 hours later asking me for her next week's schedule. She didn't remember being at work and getting fired. 